It's an assembly unlike any other for these Tupelo Middle School students. They're going to wow the kids with some of the most amazing things the young people will be able to see. And one of the main um, disciplines that we talk about in terms of, of learning, ways of learning is kinetic, and that is through movement. So we're going to have lots of movement on stage today. Dr. Rebecca Jernigan is with the Yakana International Folk Festival. They brought musicians from the Andes Mountains in Peru. <laughs> dancers from Egypt, and an Italian dance troupe from Milwaukee to the school. Seventh graders have been studying different cultures in their classrooms. It was really cool to see what it actually looks like. Yeah, how did it help you to actually see what you've been studying? It helped me a lot because I'm more of a visual person. What do you think of the performances? It was really cool. Yeah, you have a favorite? Um, the guy spinning at the end. How do you think he did that? I really don't know. When I ride roller coasters, I close my eyes most of the time, and that helps me not get dizzy and stuff. So I think that's what what he did. Was this kind of what you expected this performance today? Not really. <laughs> what was your favorite part? Um, I like the Peru dancing and stuff and the music. In less than an hour, these students were exposed to a diverse mix of cultures, music, and customs. The folk dancers not only brought the lessons to life, but are also helping the young scholars make the grade. In Tupelo, I'm Allie Martin, WCBI News.